guys. So, as you guys know, Halloween's right around the corner, and I was a huge fan of Game of Thrones. And since the series just ended this year, I thought maybe we could go ahead and do a Khaleesi, Daenerys Targaryen makeup tutorial and do like a whole outfit look. I have an outfit that's from a lot, like, I don't know, it's probably from like season one. It's like her like Dothraki outfit. But the looks that I'm doing, I feel like could apply to any of her current outfits. So if you guys are going as Daenerys Targaryen, I feel like this makeup tutorial could go with any of her looks because I'm trying to keep a really basic, versatile Daenerys Targaryen look. So yeah, let's get started. We're just going to start applying primer all over the face like you normally would. Okay, now that we have our primer on, we're gonna go ahead and start with our base foundation and just go ahead and put that all over. makeup on since Danny's definitely lighter skin toned than me I'm gonna go ahead over with my lighter concealer and kind of lighten down my foundation and highlight everything okay then we're just gonna blend that in Now that we have our base fully on, we're going to go ahead and dust some loose powder on it just to make sure it's all set. Okay, now we're going to go in with a really light contour. She usually doesn't have too much of like a heavy contour or anything on her face. Usually it's very light because it's almost not noticeable, but you can tell that there's some features that stand out. So we're just going to go in with a really light one a lighter brown color just to kind of illuminate that effect without getting too heavy. Okay, so what we've done here is I tried to get my nose a little bit more her shape. Hers is a lot more straight down and then she has 
bigger nostrils, so I was trying to give my nose that effect. I don't think it was as successful. And then I also went ahead and tried to do my chin a little bit more like hers. Hers kind of goes up here, and then her chin itself is a little bit more, like, prominent. So that's what I was doing here, was just trying to kind of contour out and make it where I had more of that protruding chin. My jawline's kind of all the same length, so I was trying to give myself a little bit more of that, um, I don't know exactly what that's called, but yeah, like her chin kind of comes down a little bit farther, so that's what I've been doing, is trying to shade that to look that way. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go in with the eyeshadow. I'm going to start out using this lighter shade of brown and kind of contouring this area of my eye right here. these two. I want it to be a little bit darker, but I don't want to go too dark, so... Okay, then we're going to take this, like, white, creamy not an all sparkly shade and go across the brow bone as well as by the corner of the eye but we don't want to go too close because we don't want to mess up any of that shadowing we just did okay now that we got the eyeshadow basically done I'm just gonna go in with a brown eyeliner pencil and very, very lightly give myself a thin layer of eyeliner because sometimes she does wear just a touch of eyeliner, but it's never heavy and it's never a lot, so definitely use a light hand. about as far as we want to go on the eyeliner because I don't want to overdo it as I keep putting on more. Okay, I'm putting it down. I don't want to overdo it. I know she's very, very light on the eyeliner, so I just, I don't know. I'm just going to let my little mistakes go and call them happy little accidents and move on. So, um, let's go ahead and start on the eyebrows. Now her eyebrows are very fierce, as you all know, and they have like, I can't decide if I want to do this before or after, so I was going to try to like kind of cut out, you know how she has that like indention in her eyebrow? I was going to try to kind of conceal that out of my eyebrows. Like so, I think. Okay, now that we've kind of gotten a little bit, I think I'll be able to like kind of heighten that with my brow shadow. So I'm just doing like compact shadow for the brow. I'm going to start with the lighter shade.
what do you think? Just can't really decide if this is how I like it or not. I think I'm going to go over it with some of this brow gel. And see. It helps at all. Okay, so I think I'm fully satisfied with the eyebrows. I feel like if I keep messing with them more, they're probably just gonna get worse. But I feel like they turned out a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go through and make this a little bit darker too. So again, I'm taking this dark eyeshadow here. Just gonna blow it off a little bit. I'm gonna take it right through this inner crease. So basically backwards of how normal people do their makeup because usually I go from the outer crease like outwards and in, but we're going from inwards and in. So we're just gonna highlight this a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna go again with this creamy color. Under the brow line. amount of blush. I'm going to do it with my finger just so it's a little bit more subtle. Okay, now we're going to do the lip and I think I'm going to use maybe these two shades here, but I'm actually going to be using chapstick with it, so I'm going to be using this brush. And I'm just going to Dab it on the chapstick and then into the color that I'm wanting. Just because I don't have a lip liner in the color that I want, so we're doing a little bit of a DIY method. And we are overlining the lip, as you can tell. Because her lips are definitely a lot more full than mine. If you have full lips, you probably don't need to do that, but if you're like me and you don't, then I would highly suggest doing a little bit of an overline. My camera stopped and I totally realized that my heater was still going so I turned that off but I don't know about you guys I find it so difficult to overline lips like I don't know why but it's just really hard and I don't know maybe my lips are just uneven to begin with but every time I overline them I feel like they always end up uneven and I just don't know how to fix it like I don't know what I'm doing wrong I don't know they don't look uneven I don't think normally 
but when I try to overline them, they do. Always. So, uh, we'll just keep tracking on, hope. Okay, so since this is kind of taking a more muted tone, I think I'm going to go back through with this color, like reddish pink here, and try to brighten it back up a little bit. over the top. I feel like if I keep going on the lips, I'm going to screw them up. Like I've said in many of my other makeup tutorial videos, like, I'm not a pro. I am not. This is not what I do. But it's fun, and I feel like we're learning together. You're learning. I'm learning. It's just, it's a learning process. So, it's always kind of a fingers crossed that it actually turns out how I want it to, because you just never know. But I am kind of a little bit impressed with my overlining because I am really, really, really bad at it. And this, it doesn't look the worst. Now, I don't look like Kylie Jenner, but it doesn't look the worst. So that's a win, right? Anyway, so now I think we're going to go through with some highlighter, but we're not using any of the sparkly highlighter. We're just going to use this cream light shade here and go through a little bit. If I can figure out oh, where I put the brush, we're going to go through a little bit and just highlight here and we're just going to highlight everywhere basically. put on some mascara Lashes too. Oh, curly 
doing my lashes always makes my eyes water so much. done with the makeup look I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little misting setting powder on it and I have some blue contacts to go in and then we're gonna get started with wig
first look at, I don't know, I had really high ambitions when doing this, so I feel like this doesn't quite meet what I was hoping for, especially because I, I don't know, I had these blue colored contacts and I had every intention of putting them in and I felt like that was going to like pull the look together a little bit more, but for the life of me, I could not get them in. I don't know if it was me or the contacts, but they kept folding and I just could not, I could not get them in. I tried for like probably 40 minutes and gave up. So <laughs> there is no colored contacts, but I was, I was trying, okay? <laughs> I tried and that's what matters. But here's the full Khaleesi look. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comments. We have a fun spooky video coming up for Halloween that's going to air on Halloween so keep an eye like eye out for that one and we'll see you next time bye